Let's do this. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we discovered a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a legend, you know, of the two Pokemon, the two Galar Pokemon and all that stuff. On top of that, we got to embarrass Bead, and <laughs> yeah, from there, Bead got disqualified from being a challenger in this whole gym challenge thing. Now, as you can see, we are playing Pokemon Shield, and it's for a very, very good reason, because in our next adventure, we are gonna be going into the Glimwood, uh, what was it called again? The Glimwood, uh, Tangle, yes. The Glimwood Tangle. And there is a specific Pokemon right there that you can actually capture, and I kinda wanna showcase it right here in Shield. And, uh, well, like I said in the last few episodes, yes. I will be showcasing both versions. Uh, at random times, but when it comes to like those big big times like gym battles different or you know If we have multiple gym battles and all that stuff both of them will be featured So as you can see here we are in the Glimwood Tangle and it's looking like a fairy tale right here And as you can see Impidimps are running a, a muck right here now if you guys don't remember The person right here told us to actually touch the mushroom if you touch the mushroom It will turn on and next thing you know you'll be you know You'll just see it just a little bit more, but eventually it'll just turn off just like that. So let us move on right here. Now, if you go right here to these Wanderers, they're just going to be getting out of the way. Impidimps and Morgims are the two Pokemon that you should keep an eye out if you guys haven't caught those Pokemon yet. And I'm going to do this right now because look at that. We got a Wanderer, and he's like, how dare you? Oh, crud. So here we have another Impidimp, and well, we've already caught an Impidimp. Do not need to uh, battle him anymore right here, so let's get away from here. Okay, so let us move on right here. There is a specific item right here that we need to actually get. I think it's near the grass area right here, yes. Yes, we will be able to find some kind of a item right here, so let's see where we can actually find it. Oh, it's right there, never mind. But yes, this place is home to a few good Pokemon right here, Swirlix, in, in uh, Sword version. And Sinistee? Sinistee? Yeah. There's two for, uh, two versions of Sinistee, and that is Phony version and Antique version. That is uh, that is something that I have not seen yet. And, uh, well, we're just going to keep on pressing this whole thing right here, and hopefully no impotence get, get to attack us. And, yes, there are Pokemon trainers right here that would want to battle you. Now, some Pokemon that you can find right here is this particular Pokemon, and that is Indeedee. Now, there are two kinds of Indeedees. Since we are playing Pokemon Sh uh, Shield, we're going to get the female version of it. In Pokemon Sword, you're going to get the male version of it. So, just keep an eye out for that. I will eventually catch this guy. Uh, yeah, I will I will capture this Pokemon off screen. So, there's no need for me to actually try and get get to him right now. So, I'm going to turn this on and hopefully not get, get, you know, get attacked by any Pokemon right here. No, wow. There is a Pokemon wanting to attack us, so let's see what it is. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to look for that Pokemon right there, guys, and nope, we are looking at the Emo Imp himself, Morgan. Oh, crap. Okay, so let's uh, let's not battle this guy because, uh, yeah, it may look uh, Emo, but it still has a, it still packs a wallop right here, so let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right now. Let's go ahead and put out Deadshot since, uh... <laughs> You know, it is our strongest Pokemon, and we are getting... Oh, yeah, we got a... T yeah, this guy is looking at us right now. He's like, are you looking for mushrooms? They give off light when you touch them. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, guys. Taking on Cook Derek, and, uh, well, he is going to be coming out with his Milkery. This guy right here is a big old puddle of milk. And, of course, it evolves into a big old piece of cake. So, let's go right ahead and just... Uh, you know what, let's go with Snipe Shot right here. Now this is one of uh, its patented moves. Snipe Shot takes out its finger and then BAM! Packs a wallop. That's why I call them Dead Shot right there. Because BAM! With its finger. You know how we, as kids we get to play with our fingers, you know, shooting guns and all that crud? That's pretty much how it is. So this guy's coming with the Shinonic. So let's go right ahead and put out Blitzkrieg. And if you guys remember, I do have two kinds of Blitzkrieg. I got Ant Form and Low Key Form right here. So, let's see what this Pokemon's all about. Here we have a Shinotic. Or shy I or shy I don't even know what it is. So, let's go with an Acid Attack. And... 
that proves to be super powerful right there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. And, oh, man, we're going closer to growing some more levels right here. And this guy's going to be coming out with a Sinistee. So let's go ahead and switch him out. Let's go with Beelzemon right here. Oh, yes. Feeling a little more comfortable with this team. I don't know. <laughs> nah. I got two teams, guys. This is the first time ever in a walkthrough where I have two teams. And... You know, you know something? I'm actually very glad that I went with this move by uh, playing both games at the same time. Because at least I get to show you different forms, different uh, scenes and all that stuff. Rather than just me playing a non-narrated version of this whole thing right here. So, look at that. We defeated this guy and, uh, well, now we got to move on right here. Now, there is a certain Pokemon here that I really, really want to showcase. I'm pretty sure you guys already know. And take a look. Galarian Ponyta. Now this is the reason to why I am on Shield version right now because it is only in Shield version that you can actually capture a Ponyta right here. So yeah, let's go right ahead and see if we can actually capture this guy. Now in in Pokemon Sword and Shield or in the Gal region, uh, what was it? Ponyta is a fairy type Pokemon. Eventually, or actually, you know what? It is a psychic type Pokemon. Then it evolves into a fairy type Pokemon, or basically both into a psychic and fairy type Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, or it could be both. But I am throwing this Pokeball out, and yeah, buddy, <laughs> Ponyta. Ponyta has been uh, defeat or has been captured, and looking at more of our Pokemon are actually growing levels right there. Krakatoa to level 41. I am liking this, and uh, well. Here it is, Galarian form Ponyta. It is only a psychic type Pokemon, but eventually it evolves into a psychic slash fairy type Pokemon. So, as you can see right here, Galarian form Ponyta, the unique horn Pokemon. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and read the contents of your heart. If it finds evil there, it will pro it promptly hides away. Eh, well, luckily for me, I don't seem to have a. Well, you know what? It's probably gonna look at me because I take I take pleasure in uh, seeing my rival get his ass kicked. That's some sort of kind of evil or something. I don't know. Comment down below if you think that is. So we need to get some Pokeballs right here. We need to get the items, and we do not need to get attacked by these Pokemon right here since we already caught the most important one. And well, let's go right ahead and press that right there. And look at that. We got ourselves a bag of bright powder and Morgrim is looking at us right there I think he's trying to sneak up to us and oh crap do not want to get that do not want to get that okay so let us move on right here and well eventually you're gonna start seeing some Pokemon hide around these mushrooms right here no biggie they uh, they don't bite guys it's just you know sometimes you may need these Pokemon right here and so let's grab this we found ourselves a big root and well Let's see, press this, and hopefully we don't get attacked by any other Pokemon. Now, another Pokemon that you can find right here in the Shield version is Oranguru. That is a Pokemon that you can find in Alola. In Shield version, you can uh, you can actually find pa Passimian. I think that's how you pronounce it, Passimian. The two monkey Pokemon from uh, the Alolo region. One can be a psychic type, and the other one is a fighting type. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to showcase the two Pokemon that I brought over from Shield version and let's go. Alright, let's see what we got right here. The railways are amazing! They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once! I came to ride a gallant train! I wonder if meeting you it will change my life. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Okay, so let's see what we got right here. And, well, here we're taking on a couple, and, well, they're going to be coming out with Curlia and Ninetales right here, so I, yeah, I think I brought in the right team, maybe, I don't know, yeah, Drago is a quadruple weakness to Curlia right there, so, <laughs> good luck, so, let's see, actually, you know what, I got to move for that guy, hopefully it will work, it's going to hurt everybody. And, well, you know, I'm going to lay it the smack it down onto Curlia's candy, you know what. So, here comes an incinerate attack. Not so effective on both of us. And here comes Bulldoze. And, wow. Okay, so, <laughs> Drago's got to get his butt kicked right here, right now. But, everybody's speed is lowered. 
which gives us a, dis a little bit of an advantage right there. And, well, here comes the smack it down, and Curlia has been defeated, so there we go. No targeting onto our Pokemon right now, and, well, let's see. Actually, no more, no more of that, so let's go with the Dragon Claw right here, and... Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a smack it the lay it or lay it the smack it down on Ninetales candy ass. And well, here comes the Dragon Claw right here. And that takes a huge chunk out of Ninetales. But here comes a smack it down, and there goes Ninetales. As majestic as it can be, it's still weak to rock type Pokemon. And look at that. Deadshot keeps on growing levels. I am happy. And this guy's like, a good way to forget the trouble of, uh, of this loss, we could ride the train. Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Okay, so we defeated these guys, and now we just, need a, we just need to move forward right here. Now, there aren't a lot of Pokemon that you can actually find here. I already caught the most important one. Now, there are a few items that you can actually find right here, which trying to do and where there's items there are Pokemon trainers and we found ourselves a TM24 snore very good move if your Pokemon's asleep and well let's go ahead and grab this item grabbed ourselves two hyper potions which is good and now we're gonna take on another trainer right here so let's go with uh you know what let's go with Beelzemon right here and see what the trouble or see what the commotion's all about some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. Yeah, don't say. Alrighty. So here we go. Another battle against Madam Judy. And here she comes out with Indidi. Indidi. Alrighty. Okay, so Indidi, it's the male version. Trying to... <laughs> trying to tell me that, hey, you know. Trying to tell me that there is a male version and all that stuff. I don't think these Pokemon evolve. I haven't gone that far yet, so... Here we go with a false surrender, and nearly takes him out. Let's try it one more time with the false surrender right here. And here comes another plain nice attack. Holy crud, what is going on? And, well, our attack has fallen. But here comes the false surrender again, and say goodbye to Indidi. I am feeling happy about that one right there. Thank you, thank you very much. And look at that, Beelzemon grows to level 35, and he's learning Dark Pulse. And, well, let's see. This is a special attack, so this is good. This is good, so. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to take away Assurance. Since uh, Beelzebub right here is more of a special attacker than anything, so. Got to play to its strength right there. And here he comes out, or here she comes out with Indeedy. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and keep Beelzebub right here. Now, here's the, well, another male version of it. Let's go with a Dark Pulse right here. So here we go, and that hurt. Yes, that hurt a lot, but here comes the Dark Pulse attack. Oh, yes. And indeed, he is just surviving. All right, let's finish him off. Dark Pulse again, and here comes a disarming voice. Oh, great. Come on, man. You got to survive this. These Pokemon are being put through a test today. And there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. So there goes another Pokemon, and Marcel has grown to level 39. Madam Judy has been defeated. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, this team, this team is, this team right here is on point. I am liking this Pokemon team, and oh god. There is a Morgram right there. Do not want to battle this guy. I already got my own. Thankfully, at the wild area and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and run away right here. And, well, there is another item close by that I kind of want to get, and it's this right here. This is the Luminous Moss, an item that can be held by a Pokemon. It's boost, it, it boosts the special defense if the holder is hit with a water-type attack. It can only be used once, so that kind of sucks right there. And, you know what, let's press this just to see what we're looking at. And I already grabbed that, so there must be a Pokeball right here. And we found ourselves a TM56 U-Turn. A very good move and well let's see there probably is another item right here that I have yet to get probably I don't know okay so we're gonna go down here and I think I've already grabbed that item right there so I 
think I've already reached everything. Probably. I don't know. Hold on. I need to make sure that I got it. I've gotten everything. And yes, I've gotten everything. So that is pretty much it right there. All you need to do now is just go straight forward. And right there, you will reach to the next town. Balloonia, I think that's what it's called. Balloonia. Balloonlia, that's right, Balloonlia town, or it doesn't even have town, I'm so used to calling it town, cities, and all that crud, and here is the home to the next Pokemon gym, which is a fairy type gym, so this is friggin' awesome right here, guys, I am excited because we are making some progress right here, so what's going to happen in the next episode is we're going back to, uh, to Pokemon Sword, and we're actually going to be taking a tour of this place, and then actually battling the gym leader, so... Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.